everyone. It's Lynette, and this is Charm Grammy Crochet. Charm Chatter, I believe, number 88. I could be wrong, but it might be close. <laughs> uh, and today is Sunday the... 30th. 30th. And with me is my very special guest, Chloe. <laughs> Say hi to Chloe. <laughs> so, first off, I had some questions. So, this is the poncho that I made and showed in my last video and the poncho is called exactly um <laughs> it does not have a name <laughs> do you see a name for the poncho oh crocheted poncho that's <laughs> what they call it crocheted poncho this is on, in the Fall in Love category under Hobby Lobby's DIY patterns. So I went to the Hobby Lobby website. I mean, this is obviously a hang tag that I pulled from the store. If you do not have a Hobby Lobby or if they do not have this hang tag hanging, it also has, which I do want to make, that really cool um, scarf. And then there's a knit pattern, which I'll show you, but we're not going to talk about. Because I don't know nothing about knit. Um, and this is to be made with their, all of these, to be made with their Yarn Bee Dream, Dream Spun. But I used Home Lion Brands Homespun. Um, oh, and they also have a couple of other knitted patterns on here. Uh, so I'll show those to you. But... I went to their website on my phone, which was not very lucrative for finding this pattern. I found the DIY section. That's where they have their free patterns uh, listed. And I found the Fall in Love. They showed this, but I could not find the written pattern. No, wait, sorry. They had this particular picture and it said Fall in Love. Um, but I couldn't, could not find on my phone the pattern. I couldn't. And it was like 2 o'clock in the morning, so I didn't uh, look real hard. But I'm sure you can find the written pattern there for free if you are a better searcher than I. Um, but somebody was asking where they could get the written pattern, and that's the best I could come up with. Um, it is a free pattern. Somebody else was asking me about this blanket that sits at the back of my chair. Right now, Chloe and I are on the floor. Um, so you can't see this <laughs> blanket sitting on the back of my chair. Um, they wanted to know the pattern. It is a hexagon. Right? Is that a hex? One, two, three, four, five, six sides. No, hex is, hex is six? Yeah, hex is seven, so hex is six. Okay. So it is a hexagon flower pattern granny square. My mother made this. She is no longer with me, so I cannot ask her the actual name if she knows uh, or if she knew the name of the pattern. But I bet if you YouTube Googled it, um, YouTube search or even just regular Google, hexagon flower, you might come up with it. Um, but that's the best I can tell you because I do not have the pattern. I only have the blankie. I didn't know Grandma made that. Huh? I didn't know Grandma made it. Oh, that's why I keep it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't know that. My mother would be Chloe's great-grandmother. Mm -hmm. And they were very close. Yeah. Um, And she left this world in October of 2016. And she had made this for me. And it had um, a knot or two came out. And I didn't know how to fix it. I wasn't crocheting at the time. And so I asked her to fix it and she said that she would and she put it in a closet and after she was gone for a while, I found it in the closet um, and I didn't know that she had fixed it. She never let me know that she had fixed it. I don't know why she never told me, oh, by the way, I fixed your blanket. Um, and I, <laughs> I found it in the, and I thought, well, I'm going to figure out how to fix it. And I pulled it up and I looked and looked and I cannot find where she did the repairs, but there are no, oh, she didn't fix it. No, that's just an unwoven tail. Oh. Tail came out. Um, so I haven't been able to find anything that's broken. So she did fix it and she forgot to give it back to me. So it was like a year later when I found it and now I 
leave it in my yarn room um, because it's very special to me. So, that being said, I still don't know the name of the pattern. <laughs> so, we're going to put that off to the side now. Um, and, real quick, my knit crate did come. So, we're going to pull that open real quick. It came, apparently, yesterday when I was at the camper. You know your nails are long when you can open boxes with them. And, well, it broke, so now it won't open the box. <laughs> and I'm, I'm a little disgruntled with knit crate right now. Um, but we'll, let's see what's in the box. The scruntled is for a whole nother. You can't call them. <laughs> there is no, look at this here. I just pulled it back. We were at the camper. You know, what do you, anyway, here we go. Let's see what's in there. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Very pretty. Very pretty color. So let's see what we got here. You hold one and I'll read one. Or you read and I'll hold it up to the camera. V. Vitalina, Vitalina, Vitalana, mm -hmm. Vitalana. That's what I was thinking. Vitalata, Vinala, Vit, Vitalata. Speak loud for this. Oh, um, it says our make life linen jewel. Um, that's like a mint, isn't it? Yeah, it's hand wash only. Um, four hundred yards. Fifty percent super wash. Merino, 30% linen, 20% silk, fingering weight. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. That's a very pretty color. It says all um, Vitalana yarns are made exclusively for knit crate. So that'll go up in the knit crate section right by your head. <laughs> but, yeah, that's the that's all the yarns from knit crate. How, how often do they send them to you? Once a month. It's a monthly subscription. And we get, so we get this yarn. We get a coaster that says, sip one, stitch one. <laughs> Repeat. <laughs> sip one, stitch one. I like that. Yeah. If I, if I sipped one, stitch one, and was drinking an adult beverage, there would not be much stitching one going on after a very <laughs> short period of yeah. time. And, ooh, that's pretty. They give you, like, a book of stuff uh, you can do? Yeah. So, that's this cool. is August, um, and the inspiration is this... This is their inspiration booklet. Oh, so these are the colors you could have gotten. I, well, this is this is my color, so yeah. So let's show them what we're talking about. So I get this crate here. So the other color options were the, was that maybe a burgundy? Yeah, like and, a pink. And a pink, and I got the mint. And then if you get the sock crate, you would get the green. You know those colors at the bottom. Uh, I'm not going to go through this page by page. September's inspiration colors are this. I'm thinking there's going to be some greens in there with that parrot <laughs> being as... Um, Very naturey. Well, they always do nature things. So they give you um, patterns to go with your yarn. Oh, cool. Um Sip, sip, knit. Sip. This is knit crate, not crochet crate. Uh, so the color that I have is Chill Out Oasis. So here are the other colors you could have gotten. Um, I did get this on almost the last day of the month of August. So this is a close-up. This is a crochet pattern, it looks like to me. Um, and that's pretty. That's the crochet pattern for the Simple Summer Shrug. How much is each one of these? How much what? Money. Oh, that says page. I thought it said how much each scale. Well, so I paid $24, including shipping, for the little coaster. You know, they give you a, a little surprise gift, a booklet with patterns. Um, and two skeins of fancy yarn. Nice. Usually two skeins. Sometimes there's only one skein, once in a while. Um, yeah, but see, that's the color they made that shrug out of. But now, the one on the front is crochet. It is knit out of the green, but the one in the inside pattern is crochet out of the, the red color. Nice. Yeah. We have so, a lot to get to. Okay. It's <laughs> not as much as you think. Really? Yeah. So, um, these will go up in the... So that's the knit crate for this month. But I think 
I'm going to get rid of knit crate because I don't use the yarn. Very pretty yarns. Lots of them. See them all in. So my knit crate yarns are, this is a area you guys never see from the floor. Those are um, pretty much all knit crate. The green right there. Very good. And that one next to it with the green in it. Oh, that's not green. Yes. <laughs> that one. Those two did not come from Knit Crate. That one your mom gave me. Yeah. And the green ones are that ones one I bought a, when I was in Mississippi. Braided yarn. Right. Cool. And so is that one. Yeah. The ones that I got in Mississippi. Yeah, they braid them. Yeah. So those are, that's called chain spun. Mm. Um, but those are the only two in there that are not Knit Crate. And then the ones above those are... Some of those are knit crate, I think. Those purples at the mm -hmm. top. And the rest of those are not knit crate. Uh, or whatever. Okay, so. The main reason that we were here today. Ten minutes in, we're going to get to the main reason. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we call it chatter for a reason. <laughs> so, at the campground this weekend was a yard sale. In my case, you grab this one. A yarn sale. A yarn sale. <laughs> There we got. I got two bags. There was a lady. She's de-stashing. She didn't know how well yarn would go over, and um, she had two bins. There's 43 skeins total, and a couple of like balls that are I don't know complete or not complete skeins of yarn um, that she like balled up, didn't use, whatever. And I paid thirty dollars. You want to see it? You want to see it? Yeah. Okay, let's dump them out. Let's see what's there. We're dumping it out? Yeah, that's, uh, that's why we're on the floor. Oh. <laughs> have you seen every single skein or no? Uh, yes, I have. Oh, okay. Okay. Oops. Something's uh -oh. happening. Something's happening there. Oh, okay. No. So, this is a cotton. I don't know what it is. I can t I can only tell you that it's cotton because it feels like cotton because there's no ball. Um, but it was a big cotton. There's very few that are not, that are, there's just a couple that Could are. Could have been a lion brand, too. Well, this one is. Yeah, a lot of lime. They're mostly name brand. But there's this little ball of cotton and a little scrap ball of black. I think it's just lost its ball band. But you can never go wrong with some black yarn. Right. Uh, there's another, if you can get that one. This is also, I think, a cotton. Oh, this one too, Granny. Yeah, but so that was not cotton. I think there's some of this. So this ball of cotton... And this ball of, of not cotton. So those are the only loose balls. Everything else comes in a skein except for this one. There's something that looks like this. So we'll hold it off to the side. Because I, I here it is. Right? Is this the same? No. Maybe there's another one. Or else I thought it was this. Okay, so we'll hold that off to the side. This is, hold that one up. This is... Oh, you gotta get close, Chloe. They can't oh. see from that far away. <laughs> so this is a Bernat Softy, uh, chunky. So this is a five weight. I won't go into like all the weights and, or the yardage and stuff. And this looks like an older ball band. I think there's only one of these, but most. Of, do you see anything else that looks like this? What? What? It's my ankle. Okay, well don't crack your ankle. They, they don't know what you're doing. <laughs> So, gather yarns together that look alike. All these are the same. Okay, so gather them together and put them in a little stack. So, I think I have one of this, I love this cotton, in red. I think there's only one of those. And give me that gray one. Big gray. There are two of these. I love this cotton in a color called Gray Beard. Which, um, these are older because they're labeled with a sticker that says 369 on it, or 349. So she's had these a while. Some of these were her mom's that she, her mom passed away and she de-stashing and let's see, there's four of these. Give me that one over there. Um, yeah. This one, this red, and this red. I have yarn like that. So there's four of these. 
This is called Navy Tweed, I think. Yeah, Navy Tweed. It's also, I love this yarn. These ones are $3.69, so they must have come from a different year. Oh, hi, Lacey. Smaller. Hi, Lace. <laughs> oh, I didn't see this one before, I don't think. I have oh. this brownish color. <laughs> um. So Chloe gathered up. You know what, Chloe? So I have had these yarns. We'll hold off on those ones because I'll have to get up to show that. This is cool. Yeah, that's, oh, there's five of those. Navy Tweed. I just showed that one. Oh, oh no, that's the fourth one. Oh. So then there's this yarn called Jiffy from Lion Brand. It is also a chunky, and it's a hairy chunky, a halo. It's got a halo on it. It's blowing out really bad with the lighting. I don't know why. It's it's crayon red. Um, this color is called True Red. Very very true. It's a very true red. Excuse Lacey. She's a little piggy wiggy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of this. Wait a minute. Well, look at this. Okay, so this is an older label. This is called Red Heart. Echo Ways Recycled mm -hmm. Blend. Oh, no, I guess it's not. Um, is there another one of these? No. Okay. Oh, wait, here it is. I have two of these. And this, I don't know what the color is. Um, I don't want to, like, look around forever because I don't, okay, this is called Misty Violet. Then there are six of these. Uh, which are a Vanna's Choice by Lion Brand. And the color is called Dusty Purple. I have two of these Woolies in the color Fisherman. Again, that's a pretty older label. It's upside down there. And another Woolies in the color called Wheat. Yeah, no, I'm going to hold on to that one. Um, here's another Jiffy yarn. Do you have another one of these? No. no. Uh, this is called Wine. This is Ber Waverly uh, Bernat yarn. And this one is called Blue Gown. It's like a cornflower blue. Mm -hmm. And here's another one of those kind of yarns called incense and it looks kind of rust mm -hmm. we call that rust then we have this and i think this yarn is called oh this is Deborah norbill everyday anti-pilling premier um this color is called american hero and i wouldn't be surprised if this is the same yarn but it's the last loose ball then they have this Bernat Satin Sport in the color Crimson. Very Christmas red. Mm -hmm. And again in white called Snow. My light keeps blowing it out. Yeah. Um, then we have, what do you got over there? These are very pretty. We have these very pretty. We have three of these. This is, oh, more of that uh, Red Heart Echo. Go ahead, Chloe, what were you saying? It's like a moth. It's called Cinnabar. So it's a cinnamon kind of color. I guess so. Um, can you grab those Vanna Choices over there? Oh, wait, this one goes over here. Three of those. Then there are five. Yep. Five Vanna's Choice in the color cranberry then we have how many of those do you have seven i have seven of these um bernat satin in the color called bordeaux it's like a raspberry do you call that i call it like a wine yeah 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 like this it. is more probably raspberry 
They're like, yeah, these colors kind of all go together. A lot of these reds, dark, dark reds. This is like a purple almost. Got a little bit of tint of purple in it. Sandy from Crochet A Canada would love these colors, these dark reds. I think Mama Swift would love the brighter reds. So, these, and then there's this. This is called Burnant Satin Sport. Now, this has a little bit of a sheen to it, and it is so extremely soft. Feel that. Yeah, it is. Silky soft. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I get that yarn. Guys, don't laugh at me. Um, oh, wait, let me back to my chair without having to Here. really get up. I'll get it. Uh, you don't even know what I'm looking for. I know. <laughs> you do know or no. you don't know? Like, I know, but I don't know. <laughs> Hold that one, because I need okay. that one. Uh, just bear with my old stiff legs. <laughs> this is, I told Chloe, I made her get up to move a chair, because I'm like, once I get down here, getting up's a problem. <laughs> well, do you want me to just locate it? I can get it for you. Oh. Yeah. You sure? Yep. This is the yarn. What do you think? Does that match that? It sure does, doesn't it? And then this yarn. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Okay. Ow! Oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So this yarn, this Bernat Satin, I have yarn that I got from my Dreamweaver, and I could never figure out what this yarn was. Usually all the yarns are a Red Heart type of yarn. Well, Bernat and Red Heart, uh, I'm like, they kind of own by the same company. But look at that. These are the same yarns, just different color. Mm -hmm. Finally, now I know. This yarn that I have, not all of the yarns from uh, Dreamweaver are this yarn. But this yarn. I have a lot of this silky, nice yarn. Not Red Heart Super Saver. And I could never figure out what it was. But I do believe it's this, Bernat Satin. Then I have, where's that other one? This yarn. Oh my gosh, I just made, I just finished Ariana's blanket, which will be a whole nother video. Well, it's not all the way finished, but <laughs> it's almost all the way finished. I'm just finishing the last row of the border on Ariana's blanket. And it's a Dreamweaver yarn. It's made out of Dreamweaver yarn in a different color than this. But I believe this and this to be the same yarn. I'm very excited about that. Because I've always wondered what it was. But now I think I found it. So I'm very excited. Um, because when you see her blanket, probably in the next video, you guys will just be this impressed. This is so vibrant. I can't, like, what is that in your video? It's so bright. That is oh, in my it. neon blanket. I know. It's so bright. It's a neon color. That's why. I keep looking at it in the camera and I'm like, what? I love the pink above it, too. Yeah. That is one of my favorite pinks. Very fun. It is very fun. Which is why I put it in the neon blanket, because I love the brightness of it. It is just cheery and wonderful. Yeah, it is. So, anyway, that's what I got. Not, not these two. Had them. But all of this down here was 30 bucks. Awesome. Less and, than a dollar a skein. Yeah, less than a dollar a skein. And she's got more. She's going to text me pictures. <laughs> <laughs> now the hard part is figure out, figuring out where we're going to put 43 skeins of yarn. Because <laughs> we're running out of room in here. But we'll, we'll figure it out. We always do. Right. You have some room over there. And I have some room. See, there's holes in some of these mm -hmm. spots. So it'll be fine. We'll figure it out. Yep. Okay. That's what we got for you today. Thanks for watching and sharing and liking and subscribing and watching and commenting and enjoying our charm chatter. And I'll let you know if I get more yarn. <laughs> Not that I need it. I know. I know. I know. I haven't. I'm, addic I'm addicted. It's okay. <laughs> See you. Bye.